Beautiful. Today we're going to be going over one of my favorite ways to do beauty lighting. We're going to use a soft and flattering light as our key light on the model, and we're going to add in a sparkly and glamorous background uh, to give sort of a party look. And then we're also going to use a reflector to pop some light in and cream the skin. So the important things that we're going to need on hand for this shoot, we want a long lens with some lens compression, because that'll help us make the background sparkly and a little bit out of focus. We're going to need a really flattering key light, so something broad and white. We're going to be using an octodome today that spreads the light out nice and evenly. It'll put beautiful flattering shadows beneath the chin and cheekbones. And then we're going to need a backlight to make sure that that uh, sparkly background really has some contrast and sparkle to it. So for beauty lighting, I like to have the key light set anywhere between 8 and 11. However, with this look, we need to do it a little bit differently. We want this sparkly background to be slightly out of focus, because it gives a softer effect. So in order to do that, we have to have our camera at a wider aperture. So today I have the key light at 5.6, and I set my camera at just a little bit wider to overexpose just a tiny bit. What the overexposure does is softens uh, Haley's skin just a little bit, it minimizes any imperfections, which helps with posts later. And one other thing that I do that is signature to my lighting that I never ever shoot without is I add a reflector here, just below, um, about at rib cage height, has to be absolutely flat. This is gonna bounce more light up into Haley's face. It's gonna soften shadows beneath the chin, put a nice catch light in the eye, and also have a um, minimizing the pores and, and smoothing out the skin effect. This is a gorgeous backdrop from Drop It Modern. It's called Mermaid. I really love it because it's going to give us our sparkly effect, but it also has a lot of versatility. And I'll give you some tips on that later on. To light the backdrop, I have a backlight set back here. We have it at 5.6. That's just enough light to uh, light it up, but not so much that it's going to reflect too much and, and ruin our effect. The important thing with any backlight is to make sure that when you're looking from the front that it, the model is hiding it and get a shorter tripod if you need to, but the important thing is that it's uh, back here incognito. Gorgeous. Beautiful. So there's one easy thing we can do to totally change up the look of this setup. Right now we have a backlight on the background, making sure that it's nice and bright, sparkly, silver. But we're going to kill this backlight and work with just the key light. The key light is strong enough and broad enough with the octodome that there's going to be enough light falling on the backdrop that it will still sparkle, but it'll be more contrasty and, and dramatic. One thing I like to do to change up a beauty shot is to add in a little bit of wind. So I use a small fan, and I don't want to you know, totally blow her off the chair. I just want to give a little lift to the hair, lift it off of her shoulders just a little bit. There's always a sweet spot. You find just the right spot where the fan, right about there, gives lift to the hair and doesn't uh, blow it too much. Now one thing that's really important, if you're gonna use the fan for a long time, you wanna always check in with your model and make sure their eyes aren't getting dry or starting to water, because that is gonna affect your shots and you want her to be really comfortable as well. That looks good with you turned a little. Can you turn? Yeah, perfect. Um, the only thing is putting your shoulder like that makes your arm flex, so if you can do that and then just have your arm put down. Can you look past me for a few frames? Let's see. 